G'day guys, I'm gonna try to do this as best I can. <coughs> I've got the uh, yard force, ah, that breeze is nice. The yard force lawnmower powered by Honda. It's a petrol lawnmower and um, it's all in pieces. So <coughs> I'm gonna have to put it together. Side do it in here because it's too sunny out there. Shouldn't be too hard to, to, to make shouldn't be but it is me so we'll soon see how we go got a little instruction manual there I'll just pull all the pieces out And this is obviously to help with some yard maintenance with some of my clients who um, need need assistance within that. So Not much room here, guys. So bear with me. cut it down and put it in the bin next to the caravan all right so I suppose we just black and orange Sorry, just had my bum on the camera there. Probably wasn't the best view for you. <coughs> Alright, so use the manual. <coughs> are they are they labelled? Is this labeled? And I need to get the scissors again. Hold on a second. Alright, so I've got scissors. Shouldn't be too hard to put together. Really shouldn't. But it is me, so <clears throat> I'm not really great with any of this stuff. But as I'm getting older, and you just thrust upon it, you thrust yourself onto a task eventually work out how to get it done so I don't want to stretch anything so that doesn't actually have a letter to it this doesn't have a letter to it So 
Attach the lower handle onto the lower handle bracket arc head bolts and fix knobs. Bring, bring you over here so you can see what I'm doing. So that just slots into into there, and then you put the bolt, and you tighten that, and then I'm going to do it on the other side. and then tighten her up. Fix the upper handle to the lower handle with cup head square neck bolt. Just go and double check something. Cup head square neck bolt. There's two different type of screws in there. And the uh, square neck bolt. Obviously, I don't know anything about those, so I'm just gonna have to wing it. This, so I'm not too sure if you can see that guys but you got that screw head like that and you got that see how they're different <clears throat> and they're in the same bag so Does it just mean that? Why? Right. 
Oh no, I just think it I just think it's with this as well. So I don't know what those screws do. We're learning together guys. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it yeah, I don't think it needs any screws. Alright, so So, just before I go on, guys, I'm not the best at things at putting things together. I don't necessarily care if anyone on this video, when I upload it, goes, oh, you did that shit, or you could have done it quicker, or whatever. Um, if you're someone that struggles to do things like this, and you feel hopeless, and you're like, oh, I'm not going to get it done, or whatever, like, I've sort of been in that mindset with certain things in my life, and as I'm getting older just just push yourself in a direction of un uncomfortability and you'll end up working something out and then you can praise yourself afterwards um, if you're someone who has extreme anxiety whilst doing things like this it probably comes from somewhere whether you're always put down as a kid doing stuff or um, you know or if you're just fearful of getting something wrong because when you got something wrong growing up <coughs> a b c and d happened but the only way out of that is to sort of expose yourself to similar scenarios um, and not having that attached to it where you can go shit I actually can do some stuff so <clears throat> Struggling to work out how this works, guys. That's where it's supposed to attach to, but then it looks like it's not lining up. strange guys it's like it's yeah it's like it's bent I don't know if a, a bit of force will get it to line up properly but yeah it looks like it's bent
Should line up. I don't know why. I don't know why. It doesn't feel like it's lining up. Oh, it's lining up. Just by luck, I actually got it right. <laughs> these these other orange ones down the bottom are actually different. They don't have a bolt attached to them. out guys so Try to go to the other side, but I don't know if it's because it's been warped, because it's been in the sun or whatever. But I just want to bring this up to you guys so you can see see how. Well, I suppose if you give it a bit of love, a bit of a bit of love. Show it who's boss. Dramas. There you go. See, in my twenties, that I would have just gone, oh, I can't do it, and I would have given up. I uh, literally that's exactly how it would have been in my twenties. Would have been like, oh, this is hopeless. I bought something dodgy. You know, it could only happen to me, it wouldn't have happened to anyone else. <clears throat> and it would have stopped, stopped me from either building it, or it would have taken it back and gone up. Oh, well, I guess I'd get someone else to mow my lawns or whatever. Like, I would have been like that in my early 20s. I wasn't the most confident person and always thought things were going to go wrong for me. So, um... <clears throat> What next?
fix the brake wire to handle with the cable clip. So that's that. Fix the brake wire. Assemble the grass catcher. Keep the carry handle D in line with the corresponding opening on the grass catch upper cover, which I feel I should get working out. So that's that. slot in it should there it is keep, keep the carry handle in line with the corresponding opening on the grass catcher then insert it into the upper grass catcher and fix it with self tapping screws Alright, so you're probably not going to be able to see that, but the handle's here, and there's two screws there. Um, to say what's... This duvet lackey with that. That's that. Align the holes of the grass catcher filter and corresponding lugs on the grass catcher upper cover and push it until it locks into place. I think that's already done. I don't see any other other pieces. It's definitely not in that. Yeah, I think that's already done. <clears throat> Align the holes of grass catcher filter with corresponding lugs on the grass catcher upper cover. Then B. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah, 
I think that, yeah, that's already on. So I don't need to do anything there. Put the grass catcher upper cover and the grass catcher lower case together, ensuring that, that they join correctly. all the way around should just naturally go into those spots which is good and then you fix it with these other two screws shaking a bit but that's not because I'm nervous or because I'm doing something wrong or whatever it's just because I'm crook I feel a bit feeble and weak <clears throat> and I think I've used the wrong screws guys yeah I think I've used the wrong screw there um, see if I can get it all the way tight I think I used the, the smaller screws should have gone in this side isn't doing any damage to it so probably doesn't really, probably doesn't really matter as long as it's fixed that one done and on the side same thing Good. And then obviously guys, that would just come up, that slots in there. see where they join onto there's two sides where the little hooks there go on to but 
yeah that's that's it that done I, I don't think I'm gonna mow anyone's lawns today obviously with being unwell being out in the 40 degree sun I think that's just a stupid idea so but it's done now so I'm pretty happy with that and it wasn't as hard as what I thought it was going to be when I saw it in the box all in pieces I'm like oh no <laughs> oh no but um nah, I got there in the end so yeah if you ever feel like you can't do anything guys in regards to putting stuff together or things that you're unsure of just give things a go and even if you get things wrong it's about learning so anyway I'll just leave it there need some water <clears throat>